Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Before we get to the charts, I do want to invite you to join me for our Pivot Boss monthly market outlook Wednesday, May 3rd at 4 p.m. Central. We're going to host another monthly May outlook here. Uh, we're going to cover all the major futures markets. We're going to look at a ton of stocks. We'll take your requests. We'll also look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, and look for opportunities in the month ahead and also uh, into the rest of the quarter. So please join me for this free event using the Zoom link below. All right, let's take a look here at the ES in the daily time frame. Right now, still holding at the highs, right? This is 4200 right here. And this is the highest price we've gotten since uh, since Q1 back here, where we hit 4208 and change. This was 4206 and change. So 4206 and a quarter over here. This one was 4208 and a half. That's the highest point we've gotten. Obviously 4200, not able to really finish beyond it and, and close back below for the day. Narrow range for the day. We have. Uh, another day here before we get into the FOMC day tomorrow. Tomorrow's Fed at 1 o'clock p.m. Central, so we have Fed alert. We're going to get ourselves new FOMC key levels. So if we take a look at some of the last ones we've had, this is the February FOMC key level. Look at how clean the market has moved off that level. Uh, first up, back down, back to it, back down, back to it back down back through it and back to it here last week big time movement off that level the last one here was the March 22nd FOMC key level which comes across at 4033.75 uh, price chopping around it taking it bid here do we now come back to that level at some point ahead at the moment we do have uh, an expanding range that has developed at these highs so far we're up here taking out the previous weeks high previous months high and close and we could be looking at a snap back to the middle of the range up ahead maybe we flush out and go take out last month's low and perhaps bounce back in at the moment we are not seeing expansion out of this portion of the range just yet if we do break down through these lows perhaps we finally return back toward the previous year's close price 38.68 so right now in the range uh, looking for likely a two-day narrow range to develop so keep an eye on the previous session's low here. If we start to see a rejection at that low, we could see a move back toward the highs. Up here at the highs, there could be a fade back down. But expecting a two-day narrow range as this thing continues to build out ahead of Wednesday's Fed event. If we take a look here at the NQ, the NQ right now, two-day narrow range, mostly inside day right now. Today's range, 35% of average. And the two-day range is 41% of average. We have a narrow three-day range that's developed. So expect more range-bound action here today out of these. We are sitting here again, kind of like the ES. This thing's sitting right here at major resistance. And uh, again, are we going to return back down within the short-term range from here to here? You may see a move back toward the lows, perhaps back up. We continue to see a bullish move overall to the upside at some point do we get a break to the upside and go challenge 13750 or higher 14k or do we fail here at 128 which would open up a return back toward 12k and perhaps a bit lower so again watching this range up ahead but until Wednesday's fed here we may see further range bound action uh, at these highs let's take a look now at crude oil crude oil is down about two thirds of one percent one of the levels we mentioned here before was the 77 level which comes across these highs it's the bottom of the prior market structure here as this thing has developed a clean a clean market structure move down this recent reaction right here again as long as price remains below 77 we could be looking at a continuation towards 72 which is the bottom end of the short term range here uh, we could also be looking at a move back towards 70 and the recent FOMC key level here at 7043. Now, this FOMC here, when it was developed on this day, it chop, 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 and then it took it bid here and rallied up to the 8352 FOMC key level. 
and then turned down and has been headed back down. So we could be looking at a return back toward the lower March level up ahead. Again, we get ourselves a new FOMC tomorrow. Uh, as long as price remains below 77 here, we have a shot to make our move to new lows up ahead until proven otherwise. Taking a look at gold futures now. Gold with a narrow 12-day developing range now. This was a finished and completed two-week range here as of Friday. Right here on Monday, added 11. Now we're on 12 days. We did see a rejection here at the high end of the range, something we talked about yesterday. As price comes up here, we're forming a bit of an H&S type of pattern, a head and shoulder type of pattern. When that type of thing develops, this top end of the right shoulder becomes a great spot to sell for a shot at returning back within the range and maybe at some point breaking down through the bottom of that range. So we saw that type of price action develop here yesterday with that first move. Now the 2020, 2030 level up above, that's going to be very important. If it does break through that at some point down the road, it's open season up ahead. But failure to get back above that zone will start to put pressure on the lower edge. We might be looking at a return back down toward 1920 and perhaps even lower up ahead. So building energy in this 12 they range at some point a hundred point plus move could be seen out of this range lastly taking a look at the YM the YM right now down about a quarter of one percent the previous session putting in a high here at 34.363 we could be looking at a return that takes us back down within the developing expanding range here Again, 33,250 could be ahead. 33,315 is the previous year's close. That's break even on the year. If we're getting a higher high failure now, we could be returning back down. Again, ahead of the Fed here, the, this could go either way. If the market's response to the Fed tomorrow is one that is bullish, we could be looking at pushing the edge here at 34,500 to 34,550. But again, um, there's been an inability to really find acceptance above those levels recently so looking at fading the edge is probably uh, in line with expectation until proven otherwise so again narrow range here heading into the fed tomorrow ahead of what could be a high uh, dose of volatility heading into the next couple of weeks all right that is it for now we'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trading room take care